Hey gents, today we're going to take a look at Christopher Clues, and this is my latest pair, but I bought a pair of a year ago, and they were one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses I've ever worn. I have one pair of like vintage Ray-Bans that I really like, but I'm always worried I'm gonna lose those, which is what happened with these. I wore them in Boston, I was on a trip, not only did I lose my sunglasses, but I also lost my AirPods, and so that was a rough one. But I'm excited to get into this new pair of Christopher Clues today because after having them for a year and looking at a lot of other sunglasses on the market, I'm pretty into these. This is Danish eyewear, so I really like the design, but they're also built incredibly well. So let's flip over the unboxing and then we'll talk about them in detail. Not bad, huh? My wife hates, I love round sunglasses, but my wife hates when I get them, and so, uh, I don't know. Christopher Clues has a couple silhouettes, but plenty of colors within there. Today, I'm looking at the Paloma in Espresso and also the Passable in Espresso. I really have a thing for round sunglasses. My wife hates when I wear them, but what are you gonna do? These glasses come in at the 150 price point, so they're kind of in line with you know where most Ray-Bans are today, but the acetate that they use, this premium acetate, feels just as good, if not better, than most Ray-Bans. The hinges on these are extremely strong and durable. I had a pair for at least a year that they didn't wear out. You know, I've had a, pair, a couple of pairs of Warby Parkers that you know, after a few weeks, some of those hinges just don't stand up very well. And all of the sunglasses are also polarized, which is, something that you're usually upcharged for with a brand like Ray-Ban. The designs are very sleek, minimal, and the colors that they offer are pretty timeless and classic. There's no branding on the outside of the sunglasses, but if you look very closely on the inside of the glasses, there's a hand-finished logo that you'll see. There's a very subtle logo all the way at the end of the sunglasses on the inside, which is their you know, double circle logo. So I am very impressed with sunglasses enough to come back to them even when losing them before. I have a number of sunglasses from the subscription boxes that are like pretty cool, but they're built really cheap and they don't feel very good. And you know, even though they're stylish, they don't feel very good. What's nice about these is that they are stylish and they're built really well. And so that is Christopher Clues. If you're looking for some cool sunglasses, I would recommend them. I'll put links below so you can check them out. And if you have any questions, as always, down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. I know I could Photoshop this, but I kind of just want to blast. I should open the window.